All right, what is going on YouTube? I think it's finally time that we talk about the One Piece live action adaptation and the effect that it's had on live action adaptations of anime in general. So yeah, the One Piece live action has been out for a while now, it came out in August, it's December now, and just the pure amount of accolades that this adaptation has accumulated is kind of insane. The fact that they were able to get the original Straw Hat voice actors to dub over the actors of this live action in Japanese as the official Japanese dub is kind of crazy. Seeing live action Luffy meet the voice actress that's been doing Luffy's voice for so long, it's insane. You know, them having a, a booth at like Anime Expo, doing all these photo shoots, all these interviews, and not just with the cast of the Straw Hat Pirates, but also with the directors, the writers, hearing how much they all really love one Piece and respect Oda, getting to see how involved Oda was and how much he himself wanted it to succeed. It's really easy to get wrapped up in all this amazing marketing and amazing decisions that Tomorrow Studios decided to make when it comes to this One Piece live action. And yeah, man, I gotta say the decisions paid off really well because this series has blown up. Like it has done so much good for, I think, live action adaptations of anime as a whole. I mean, even when I've been talking to some of my friends that don't even know that I do like a YouTube channel based on live action anime and stuff, I've been in discussions with them and they've been like, oh yeah, most anime live actions are really bad except for One Piece. And it's just, it's kind of crazy like hearing that, like, you know, just out of, out of the blue, you know, without the context that I talk about this on my channel for like a hobby. So it's just kind of crazy. Like it's, it's, it's really eye opening to see. Reminds me of like, you know, when there's a really overhyped anime that comes out and at first you're maybe a little bit scared to give it a try because of just the pure amount of people hyping it up saying, oh my God, it's the best thing ever made. Yada, yada, yada. For me, that was Attack on Titan when it first came out. But at the end of the day, I had to look at it as like, well, yeah, Attack on Titan's super overhyped at the moment, but at the same time, it's a dub for anime as a whole. Because when you think about it, anime was still looked at as really weird and people that like it are really weird, like around that time. Like it wasn't really accepted by everyone to like anime. So Attack on Titan was, you know, a stepping stone for breaking that barrier. Uh, the time it came out, you know, people were comparing it to The Walking Dead saying it's the Japanese Walking Dead because it was that big, it was that huge. And yeah, overall, like Attack on Titan was just that show, I think, that broke the barrier of like, well, you don't necessarily have to be an anime fan or a weeaboo to like Attack on Titan, right? And we've had other animes surpass the art form of just anime, like Dragon Ball, Naruto, because I feel like a lot of us in America grew up with those shows without necessarily knowing that they were anime. But that's kind of a different discussion. Basically, I say all that to compare it to how this anime live action of One Piece seems like it's breaking the mold. It's really standing out from all the other anime live action adaptations, and I think becoming pretty well received worldwide. Most people that talk about this adaptation only have good things to say. And while my own personal thoughts and opinions of the show itself or the content itself may not be that it's the best thing ever made or the best live action adaptation ever made of an anime, I still am really happy that this show did really well and that it's given hope to a lot of people that do not like anime live action. Because for people that actually just want to see anime live action do well, it's a dub for us overall. You know, whether it was the best adaptation ever made or not, you can't deny the numbers and the results and that it did really well and that it's giving a lot of hope for future anime live action projects to do well. So that's always a good thing. And even now when I see like the actors and actresses of the Straw Hat Pirates crew, like whenever I see them do interviews or like they're just, you know, in a call together or whatever, it seems like everyone just is really happy to see them and treats them like royalty. And, you know, I think that that's, that's just really cool. Like. As an actor, actress, like, what more could you ask for, you know? Fans are just like, oh my god, like, I love you, you played that character, and, you know, to see these actors and actresses evoke that feeling is kind of crazy. For me, it's Tobey Maguire, like, that's always gonna be my Spider-Man, you know what I'm saying? But, like, to see that same feeling, to see that this live action of One Piece can evoke similar impact in people is crazy to me, and that's awesome because that's what I really want, you know? I want more live action adaptations of anime to have that similar effect, and... Now maybe one day, hopefully, eventually, fingers crossed, we could get that anime cinematic universe. Oh, but again, that's a different video. Uh, <clears throat> won't get too excited, but it would be so cool. Anyway, yeah, I mean, this live action series even had trading cards of it made in Japan. 
Like it's crazy the amount of success that this show has had. And if you guys saw my review, then you guys know, I don't think it's the best anime live action ever made, but I'm still really, really excited to see where they go from here. I want them to keep going. I want a season two. I want to see how they do Robin. And you know, some other characters like Chopper, Monet, if they ever get that far. Um, you know, I really want them to also get bigger budgets um, because if they ever do get to Marine Ford, and that arc, bro, I want that arc to be like godlike. I want them to have an absurd amount of money to make that arc, to make that war look crisp. So I'm really hoping that, you know, they keep going, they keep getting more and more to spend and higher budgets. And yeah, I'm 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 really happy, I'm really excited, and I'm hopeful for the future of this live action series. I think the big thing too is that it gave a lot of people hope because now we got trailers for this Yu Yu Hakusho live action adaptation. And I thought that most people would be, you know, not as hopeful, like they would see it and be like, oh, you know, it's never gonna be One Piece. But I feel like most people have also been a little bit hopeful or uh, have been like, oh, you know, it looks all right. Like they're starting to give it a chance, you know? And that's the main thing is before One Piece, no one would give any live action adaptation of anime a chance. They would be the first to hate on it without even seeing a trailer. And you guys might think, oh, you're just exaggerating. But I'm not is the crazy part. I was the only one actually talking about it, like actually giving these works of art a chance and talking about why they could be not so great or why they're actually really good, why they could be better. I was the only one, bro. Oh my goodness. Every single person I saw on the internet was hating on Cowboy Bebop before it even came out, before a trailer was even out, bro. Like, and it was like that for every live action, man. It was just... Uh, Oh my goodness. But now, after One Piece, feels like we've finally reached a spot where maybe people are like, hmm, this looks all right. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll give it a chance. And I think that's the biggest thing to take away from One Piece's live action debut. Um, so I'm really, really happy about that. Like I no longer have to be the only one giving these adaptations a chance. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Now, the downside to that could be that One Piece being so successful and so many people loving it could set people's expectations pretty high because while it does give people hope it also gives them expectations and I feel like you know one way to be let down by anything is to go into it with expectations so that's why for me even though the Yu Hakusho live action looked better than I thought it would, I'm still going into it with very low expectations because, well, you know, I have my own reasons and that's kind of a different video. But what I'm saying is I don't think most people will be able to know all the behind the scenes of like this Yu Yu Hakusho live action being made and the One Piece being made and, you know, just all the other live actions that have been made that have come from Netflix or other companies, not all of them are going to be in the know of like, you know, how these were made and, and what it means to make a film and all this stuff. So which is why y'all should subscribe to the channel. But yeah, not everyone's going to know. So people see live action One Piece and they're like, oh, this was great. The next live action anime they're going to see, they're going to have that same expectation. And if it's not as good as the One Piece live action, they're going to be like, man, it wasn't as good as the One Piece live action. So while it did give people hope, it also gives them something to compare whatever they decide to watch next to. And I'm not really sure how that's going to affect people. It could end up making people think that One Piece is the only good live action adaptation ever made of anime. Um, Or I think it could end up making people, you know, just think more for themselves and formulate their own opinions more, which is what I'm hoping. And yeah, I think not just with the One Piece live action, but also you see like the Avatar live action, which I don't really want to talk too much about because I'm not going to be covering that. But I just feel like, you know, you're starting to see a trend here of like Netflix and live action adaptations and them basically getting better to the public eye. And I feel like that is what's going to carry this negative stigma of like all anime live action suck. And maybe we're finally going to get rid of that. At the end of the day, whether or not you think the One Piece live action adaptation was the best adaptation of anime in live action ever made or not, you can't deny that the success of this season one of the series has elevated the outlook on anime live action in general as a whole drastically. And I think out of all the anime live actions 
that I've talked about or covered, this one has made the biggest step in history of getting towards a time where live action adaptations of anime are generally considered good. And I'm just really glad that I was able to cover it from its announcement to its cast reveals all the way up to its release. And I can't wait to keep on covering it and seeing where they go from here. Now, as to why it was so successful, I think really plays more into the marketing as opposed to the actual content itself but that's a different video for a different day i mainly wanted to just make this video to talk about you know the accolades and uh what this show has done for not only me not only this channel but for anime and live action as a whole and i really wanted to know what you guys think about all this and has it changed your perspective on how you look at live action anime as a whole let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. That helps me out a ton. As you can see, my channel is dedicated to live action anime and how these directors and story writers, script writers decide to take the anime we all know and love and make them into live action. And yeah, that's what I decided to make my channel about and talk about because I'm a huge anime fan and I'm also a filmmaker. So it just makes sense. So if you want more, definitely subscribe. Leave a like, spread the word, all that good stuff. With that being said, thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in the next video.